Hello, welcome once again to the Makti channel on YouTube. We are very grateful for you watching all the videos and we hope you are getting the best out of it. Today, we are going to continue solving of our science questions once again. Remember that you have to get grade 1 in this coming DEC. You have to get grade 1 in this coming DEC. Once you follow what we do here, you are sure to get well, your grade 1. Thank you very much once again and thank you very much once again for joining this channel. We can't thank you much. Now today, we are going to continue, like I said earlier, with our solving of the science questions. In today's question, we are looking at question 1D. If you have not downloaded the question, you found the video, if you have another question, then you go to www.macticlass.com. Download, get to DHS, go to DHS3, get to the science and download the question. Once you get the question, you follow us here on the channel. Now, we don't want to waste much time. Let's go right into it and start solving the question. So we're doing question 1C. If you have a question, question 1C is a very simple, practical, very, very simple or practical, but deep in understanding. Good. So I read a question, then we discuss it like we always do, then we finish it quickly. Now see, you are provided with two dry soil samples, A and B. A measuring cylinder, beakers, funnels, filter paper, beam balance, stopwatch, and water. You are provided with these things. With the aid of a label diagram, describe an experiment to find out which of these two soil samples can hold more water. Generally, the experiment is about testing the water holding capacity of soil samples. But in this case, we don't know which soil sample they are referring to. So from what we have learned in class, I told you, from what we have learned in class, we know that we compare the three types of soil, which is the sandy, the clay, and the loamy. The loamy will have what? Will have a higher water holding what? capacity. By this question, we're giving two soil samples. And given this soil sample, we're not told which one is which one, or which one is which type of soil sample. But how do we communicate with the emulator or the marker, in fact, the marker, or the examiner, which of the soil samples is it A or B that has or that holds what that holds more water? How we can get to that person? And this answer lies in the way we are going to draw. The drawing of the diagram will tell whether A is your well, soil that holds more water or B is the soil that holds what more water. So we look at the diagram that we are going to draw, and that is how they are going to mark because you can, no one can tell us A or B. My diagram can give me a, a friend diagram will tell me that B. So it's from the diagram that we know. Good. So let's get straight into it. Let's get straight into it. Now, we have to perform an experiment. We have to perform what? An experiment. And in science, an experiment follows a particular arrangement or systematic or approach or protocols you are supposed to follow when you are performing what? An experiment. In such an experiment, we have first of all our A. Then from the aim, we go to the apparatus. They've listed down the apparatus here for us. Then we go to what? The method. The method of doing it, that's so we'll have the setup. So we do the drawing. Then after doing the drawing, then we label the drawing for them. Then we look at the observations, the conclusions, and that is all about the experiment. So very quick experiment you are going to perform here. Very, very quick. So let's go straight into it. See, you were provided with two soil samples, soil sample A and B. So generally, the aim of the experiment. So let's write the experiment. So let's write our aim. The aim of the experiment to is to what to demonstrate to demonstrate the water holding water holding kappa city of soil A and B. An experiment to demonstrate the water holding capacity of soil A and B. That's the aim of the work, the experiment. Then from there, we come to what? The method. We have to go to the apparatus, but they've already listed the apparatus down. So there's no need for us to write it. We are working within time. So we go straight away to our method. So the method here, Is a method for making this. Now, if you learn this thing, if you understand 
what we are doing here for a soil to hold more water that soil must be less or porous soil that will hold more water is less porous in the sense that it has less amount of what of air space again soil that holds much water soil that has a higher water holding capacity as well has less air spaces in between them so those with less air spaces will have what will have a higher water holding capacity like what like clay and therefore in their drawing the water in its measuring cylinder will be less as compared to what the other so in the drawing can differ either the water in your measuring cylinder a or b depending on how you label it is less than b then that the examiner will know which one is what is holding more water so like i said the answer here depends on the drawing we'll know whether it is a or b and any of us our answer will differ i might use b as the one that has the the more water holding capacity and some of my use a so it all depends on the what on the drawing so when you understand this then you know what to do good so let's get straight away into the drawing this one we're supposed to draw a label this we're supposed to draw a label this so this will be my measuring cylinder let me put my measuring cylinders here nicely my measuring cylinders So I'm putting soil sample A here and put soil sample B here. And I put my funnels. And I fit a filter paper into this. So I label them. I label it. Then I do the same for this. The funnels must be identical. The funnels must be identical. So I do this for the ninth funnel I have here. The ninth funnel I have here. Then I place the filter paper in this. Good. Now, then I add my soil sample. They must be of equal quantities. The soil sample must be of equal quantities. So I have this. And I'll measure them using the beam balance given to me. When I get to the method, I'll write it down. I'll write it down. So I have this. Now, I decide to put this amount of water. So water drains here into this. Then I've decided to put this amount of water here into this water drains into this this shows the drainage of water so this is my diagram now i'm supposed to label this so this will be my funnel this is my funnel this is my measuring cylinder this is my measuring cylinder then i have to label my filter paper so this will be my filter paper. This is my filter paper. Same goes for this. Then um, this is the water. This is water from that same thing to this. This is also the water. Okay. Okay, so I think I've labeled the part here. I have the filter paper here. Let me put this one here properly. So to indicate the filter paper. Good, 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 good. So this is my, my setup for the experiment. Like I said earlier, if you look at this experiment, if you look at the setup here, you can see that the water here is less as compared to the water here. That automatically tells me that hey, this guy is holding the water. That is why enough water cannot go through. But here, the air spaces in this soil sample, which is soil sample B, is enough, is big enough to allow water to go through so let me put this one cell sample a once again cell sample what cell sample b now the method what did i do method one what did i do method one i will measure equal quantities of what of cell sample a and b and place them into what or pour them into, what? into a funnel with a filtered filter paper i already put the down from filter the i'll put the filter paper into the funnel before i pour my cell sample into it so the first method is what is measure measure equal let's make it let's bold in it a little bit let's bold in it so measure measure equal quantities 
quantities of soil sample A and B using the beam balance. That's the first thing I'll do. I'll measure soil sample A using what? Using the beam balance. Then the next thing is to, is to put the soil into what? Into the test tube with the filter paper seated in what? In it. With the filter paper seated in it. Good. So the next thing is to what? To place the soil samples soil samples in the in the panels in the panels mounted on the measuring cylinder on the measuring cylinder with with filter paper with filter paper fitted fitted in it so this is the second thing i'll do the first thing i do is to what to measure my soil sample secondly i do what i place the soil sample or pour the soil samples into the panels mounted on the measuring cylinder with the filter paper fitted in it so this is what i'll do then the third thing I'll do here is to what? To pour equal volumes of water. To pour equal volumes of water. Very important. This terms I'm using equal volume of water into the what? The, the funnel or into the soil sample in the funnel. So the next thing I'll do is to pour equal volumes of water. That's the third thing I'll do. Equal volumes of water into, into the into the funnel. Four equal volumes of water into the wall, into the funnel. So that's what I do. Then after doing this, I allow the setup. That's my fourth step. Allow the setup to stand for what? To stand till the water drains. Allow the setup. Allow the setup. Allow the setup to stand. Allow the setup to stand till the water drains. So allow the setup to stand till the water drains. Good. So these are the steps I go through. One, step two, step three, and step four. Then I allow it. Then after doing this, then I go to observe. So the next from this method, we go to what? observation. What will be my observation according to this diagram that I have here? What have I observed? And I tell the, the examiner observation. Let me put my observation here. Observation. Now look at this example observation. We we'll observe that the soil sample in what in B or the water sample, the water in B is more than the water in what in uh, A. That's one of the observations you can see. So the soil sample within the setup B has what has less water, or within the I can I can depend on what I want to say. I can say that okay, the water sample within the setup A is what is less, hence that has what high water holding capacity. That's my observation. So I uh, Observation. That's okay. Water. Water in in cylinder in cylinder A is less is less compared to compared to that of B. That's my observation. That's what I observe. Then from this, what would I see? 
my conclusion, of my conclusion from the observation. Now, I know and understand that the one that is having the less water in the cylinder is the guy with what? With the high water holding wall capacity. With the high water holding wall capacity. So, therefore, we can say that conclusion that sample A, soil sample A, soil A has, has more water has more water holding holding capacity we can say this we can say that from observation we can conclude that we can conclude that what well, the soil sample a has more water holding what capacity why or has the higher water holding capacity because the water sample in this system is what in its um Cylinder is, is less as compared to what to be. This is a very quick explanation for the experiment C. Very, very easy. Our aim of the experiment was to demonstrate the water holding capacity of soil sample A and B. Then we drew a diagram. Like I said, it is a diagram that gives the examiner what to do with. That from this, you can see in that, in that, in that case, I can make this one less and make that one more. So we are very, very careful. Don't just draw anything. But the answer is in the wall. It's in the diagram we've drawn. They went through this method. We measured equal. It's, it's very important to measure equal amount of uh, quantities of uh, soil sample A and B using the beam balance. Then we place the soil samples in, uh, in the funnels mounted on the uh, measuring in the funnels mounted on the measuring cylinder with a filter pass fitted in it. Then we pour equal volumes. Also very important. Equal volumes of water is poured. Equal quantities are measured. Yeah. Equal quantities and volumes are measured into the funnel. Allow the setup to stand for till. The water drains then after that what do we observe we observe that the water in cylinder a is less compared to that of what b why or well, our conclusion is that then the soil a has more water or holding capacity this is all about experiment very short very brief very understandable please make sure you listen to this well make sure you watch it and watch it over and over so you get an understanding of the diagram thank you very much for joining us this section we shall continue in the next session remember to subscribe like and share tell your friends that they should come and watch this thank you very much for joining this section thank you very much